Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, during the early afternoon, if you found a spot in the sunshine out of the wind, it actually feels pretty nice. The, the angle of the sun at noon is actually higher than it was back on the first day of winter. So bottom line, the sun is getting a little stronger, though. Unfortunately, every now and then it gets offset by very cold air pouring out of Canada. But uh, certainly good signs as we get closer and closer to the first day of spring and just uh, two and a half weeks away. Take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. No precipitation, looking good. Skies are clear, so staying dry this evening and through the overnight so the threat tracker now through at least Sunday morning in the low category but by Sunday evening and Sunday night still have some snow in the forecast in fact it is likely around sunset Sunday evening continuing Sunday night and then winding down early uh, Monday morning. We'll talk about potential accumulations in just a second. But what's ahead is essentially quiet weather next couple of days. This is uh, tonight at around 11 o'clock. Advance the map to tomorrow. Uh, you can see nice and quiet, no precipitation or thick clouds. Jump ahead to Sunday. The clouds are on the increase. This is Sunday morning. Look at the moisture across the Midwest. It'll take until Sunday night for this to, ar to arrive. This blue represents snow. This is around 8.30 Sunday night starting to work in and then pushing offshore and out to sea by uh, Monday morning. We think it's cold enough for mainly snow. It could be a little sleet or rain mixing in near the south shore. So in the meantime, it's nice and quiet. Downtown Providence 25. Once again, temperature still running below average. Gloucester at 22. So the satellite photo showing the clear weather. High pressure fair weather system in control, keeping things sky, keeping skies clear and dry. And that'll take hold right on through tomorrow. So more uh, sunshine on tap for you Saturday. 7 o'clock this evening and beyond. Clear skies. In some cases, temperatures dropping down into the single digits, especially away from the coastline. So very cold start tomorrow morning. Sunshine gets to work a little bit. Temperatures heading up into the upper 20s to lower 30s. And then dry weather continues tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Saturday night uh, looks fine with generally clear skies and uh, no snow, at least not yet. Tomorrow morning, 7 at 7 a.m., 11 o'clock in the morning, 20. About 28, 29 should do it for the afternoon high with deep blue skies and mainly uh, sunshine. Seven-day future cast. Again, Sunday day looks good. The sunshine will be fading away. Snow arriving by sunset. The potential is there for two to five inches of snow by daybreak Monday. So that has an impact on the Monday morning commute. That's certainly enough to uh, shovel and plow as this incredibly active weather pattern continues. In fact, look at next week. Monday it clears out. The better part of the day looks fine. Tuesday day looking good, but by Tuesday night into Wednesday, our next system arrives. But this time, look at the temperature on Wednesday up to 40. So any snow Tuesday night may go over to all rain on Wednesday with temperatures in the 40s and still the chance for at least mixed precipitation next Thursday with temperatures in the 30s. So we're quiet right now, but several chances for precipitation down the road. You can download the Channel 12 weather app on your tablets and on your smartphones as well. And I guess, I don't know, according to Apple, you can watch it on your on your wrist as well. <laughs> it would be nice if it said it's going to be sunny and 85 degrees, though. I promise by June. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Tony. <laughs>